Hi everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Anlom, and welcome to my studio. This is a quick follow-up video. So I just posted a video that was a collaboration with Letitia Finder. You can find mine right here and hers is linked inside. And in my video, I made some cards and then I made too much paper and I said in that video that I would come back and do a really quick little video on how to turn the extra paper into envelopes to go with these cards. So that's what we're doing. So if you go watch that first video, you will see how I made these other pages. As you can see from the cards, I made a page and then I cut them out and I made some nice little Valentine's Day cards. And I used a punch to punch out a bunch of hearts to decorate. So I have these extra ones left over. So I want to make some, instead of using regular white cards to put these cards into, I thought I would show you with this extra paper how to make using an envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers, which I love. And just a regular cutter and this is cardstock that was painted and it's eight and a half by eleven. So let me just get in here a little bit. Now the We Are Memories Keeper tells you right on it which sizes you need and these cards are four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to make envelopes that are four and a half by six. There is another one that says four and a half by five and a half, but sometimes it's a little bit too tight and it warps. So I don't mind the, the extra half inch, especially since these cards have embellishments on them and they'll be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to make those ones and it says that I need a piece of paper that is eight and a half by eight and a half, which is perfect because this paper is eight and a half by 11. So I only have to cut one side. So I just have to make this eight and a half. And there we go, eight and a half by eight and a half. Put that away, swap this here. And then it says to do my first score at three and three quarter. So that is right here, three and three quarter. I'll be able to, let me just. Comes with a bone folder. So what I do is for my first one, I bring it to three and three quarter. I do a punch and I do a score. I always have trouble with the first score. There we go. And then you flip it over and what you do is you take that score line and you match it up with the little arrow. So you don't have to measure anymore. You just have to match it up to your score line. And then flip it again. Match that up to the score line. And match that up to the score line. And there we go. So you end up with a piece of paper that is creased. Can you see that? Creased right there and there and there. And then what you do is you fold it up and use the handy dandy. Oh, wait, I forgot a step. It has a double punch. So in the back, you can punch and round over the corners. There we go. So then you burnish. We're going to put some adhesive on there, and there you go. You now have an envelope. 
made out of the same paper. So I can take the one, the card that I made my niece and put that in there. See how there's a little bit of extra space, which is fine. Actually for this one, I can just take this and I can either um, put it that way so it shows up or I can put it this way or I can do some, uh, actually, I could do some white cardstock and then put that on like that. And there we go. Envelopes. And then with the piece that's left over, if you wanted to, you can use that for collage. You can use that for making more decorative elements or you can also use it for if you had blank cards, you could cut a piece off and attach it to the card and then you'd have a matching envelope and card. That's it. That's my quick video. Ta -da! Actually, I think this one's going to look better that way. Maybe I'll just color this a different color. There we go. Beautiful. Thanks for coming and watching this quick video. I will see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.